Well, even though we probably don't have a bunch of sailors around here, I guess the saying still stands true, right? Red sky in the morning, sailors take warning. Red sky in the morning here, you should probably take warning that something is on the way and that something is a good amount of rain for the weekend. Check out this cool photo though from Abingdon this morning. Some red skies there. Another shot from Midway this morning from Scott. Lots of red and orange skies there. Appreciate you guys sending those pictures. If you ever have a weather picture or if you take one this weekend, send it to us, wcob.com slash chime in. You can also send it to us on Facebook and Twitter. Here is our weather maker for the weekend and even into Monday. What's going to happen is this cold front is going to continue off, pushing to the east, a lot of rain ahead of it and along it, and behind it, a lot of colder air. Here comes the colder air by late Sunday night and into Monday, and it combines with this moisture right here to move into our area and give us a chance for some snow showers and maybe even a couple bursts of snow as we go into Monday, especially across the higher terrain. Live view here from Marion, Virginia this evening. We've got the cloudy skies overhead, temperatures at this hour in the 40s. Clouds kind of kept us a little bit cooler today. Winds out of the west southwest around 5 to 10 miles per hour. A few isolated little showers here working their way through Knoxville. But for the most part, majority of the rain that's going to be pushing in later tonight and into Saturday is still out towards the west. Here we go on future track. You'll notice it will dry through the evening hours, but as we go towards around midnight, one o'clock, chance for a couple showers to start pushing in. I think it's really tomorrow after sunrise when we'll see higher chances for rain. Here we are at 830 and here comes that rain from the west. That rain will be moving through during the morning hours and then kind of on and off some rain expected through Saturday with a heavy batch of rain expected Saturday evening and into Saturday night. Even a couple rumbles of thunder possible with this. It wouldn't shock me to see a few isolated issues with some flooding and ponding of water on roadways. Keep that in mind if you got late Saturday plans. Now into Sunday, some dry time, especially as we go in the afternoon, but it's still some couple scattered showers during the morning until that front swings through. Notice the wind direction has shifted here as we go into late Sunday, and with that comes the colder air. Here we go into Monday. This is midnight Monday morning, and that's when the moisture starts to push back in. Some snow showers developing by 3, 4, 5 a.m. on Monday morning, and the higher uh, chances for some snow is going to be across the higher terrain. Right in the valleys, I think we'll still see some mixing as we go through the morning hours, but everyone has a chance for a little bit of snow before that mixing occurs. As we talk about snowfall totals, not expecting a ton of snow, but certainly maybe a trace to an inch in some spots across southwest Virginia. These blue areas here towards Carver's Gap, part of the Green and Unicoi Mountain Ranges, also towards White Top, parts of Tazewell County, and towards High Knob. That's where we'll see a better setup for northwest flow snow, a little bit better upslopes uh, snow as we go into Monday. And there I could see two inches of snow, if not maybe a little bit more falling. The other thing you're going to be noticing is some gusty winds. Late Saturday and lasting through Sunday, gusts to 35 miles per hour or 40 at times are possible. Higher trains could see gusts to 50. Check out the forecast here for the next seven days. Cold weather for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. 50s returning for Thursday and Friday, though, with a slight chance of some showers on Wednesday and Friday. We'll keep you updated on Monday's weather, and you can stay updated through the weekend, of course, by tuning in to News 5 or by checking out our forecast online anytime at wcyb.com slash weather.